Hello, hello. Uh, this is Goshka, and uh, I'm here to help you with organizing your next SCI series of workshops or maybe a big online meeting with many various events uh, in parallel and where people can register for different events and then maybe they want to change their minds and you start uh, getting lost um, in all those changes that participants are announcing to you how to somehow be smart when you create the registration for such types of events where you have many workshops uh, uh, not obligatory to attend them all this i'm going to show you in this quick tutorial and uh, we are going to use google forms so in case you are not uh, a pro in google form uh, creation I really encourage you to have a look at the Simple Clivity channel at YouTube and there are um, very good two tutorials for um, beginners or non-advanced users. Uh, you just uh, search for Google Form tutorial in this channel. So well, let's imagine I'm organizing SCI Inspiration Days and uh, here is my registration form in Google Forms. I want people to provide their name, surname, email address and then there are a number of workshops that people can attend. And while registering, they can uh, simply uh, decide to uh, participate in as many as they want. And uh, well, once they click submit, uh, they will get a standard message. Your response has been recorded. Uh, and by default, Google says submit another response. But what if they are changed their mind uh, or what in the meantime you get a new workshop and uh, you add it to the list but some people didn't fill in this um, type uh, so, so didn't fill in uh, their preference for this new workshop uh, this we can tackle easily with google forms so here is how my uh, survey looks from the back end uh, and look even there are three responses wow somebody already registered and uh, to um, make it really smart, you go to settings. Then you click on collect email addresses and on response receipts. It means that uh, there will be an email coming to the inbox of your uh, participant uh, um, that confirms the registration, but also um, tells what people registered for. So there will be all answers to the survey in that email. But I think that people often don't read uh, or, uh, properly. And if I click this, if respondent requests it, no, I don't think that people will really always remember about it. I prefer to choose this option. And also I want people to add it after submit. In the case of my series of workshops, I want to have the most actual information. So if somebody cannot attend or wants to attend and change their mind, uh, I want them to be able to come back to the form. And uh, then I click on save and what happened? Uh, here there is a new field that was automatically included by Google email address. So look, that field that I had in my form is not needed anymore. I can simply delete it. And uh, the form is there. Uh, and uh, once I, as a user, complete the form, I will get an email notification. I'm going to show you how it looks. So it comes from the Google no reply address. Uh, the title is the name of the registration form. And then this is the content of the email. So there will be uh, all the information you provided. And if you want, you can click on edit response. And then the user will be taken to their survey with all the answers that they clicked before. And uh, they will be able to change those answers. Uh, what is more, if in the meantime, a new question appeared or a new workshop appeared on the list, they will be able also to vote on this new edition. But you might be saying, oh gosh, Goshka, people get all these emails, then they just delete them, or maybe it ends up somewhere in the spam. So how to act smart and how to minimize uh, a risk that people will simply dump this email? A few things you might do. Um, one automatic thing is that you go to settings and the presentation. Um, well, in my case, I don't want people to have a link to another response when they finish, but I want them uh, to have a different uh, tailored confirmation message. So maybe I will say here, thank you for the response. Uh, 
uh, you will get an email, um, blah, 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 with, um, with all the responses soon. Uh, please uh, keep the email because it's important uh, that you can come back to it if your opinion changes or your availability changes. Safe. So this is a new confirmation message instead of the standard one. Here people will see our nice tailored message. In case you really would like people to have uh, give more attention, you might also add a note here in the description. Or what I would do personally, at the end of the form, I would add uh, this option. So there can be some text inserted and uh, I will drag it down to the very end of the workshop. Uh, and um, here I will say important note. And here I would repeat all the same, like uh, you will get an email, blah, blah, blah. Please keep it, um, change your vote if something changes. Uh, and then when people look into such survey, what they will see uh, is indeed a questionnaire. So they will be answering, answering, answering. But before they hit submit, there will be this <gasps> important note. And if you want, Google even um, allows you to add uh, pictures to the survey so you can make a really big uh, red announcement so that people uh, really notice what you want um, to tr transfer to them. And good luck with your event. I hope it helps. And I hope uh, in this way you, your uh, registration process will be easier, both for you, the organizer, and for your participants. Good luck.